In a world where aliens attack, one Limey Man will save the day. Hello and welcome to Limey Man Videos. Today we're playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. A turn-based strategy from Fraxis, I think it's called. Whereby you control a squad of crack com commander. A team of guys. Crack commanders. Whatever. And shoot aliens. Like that one, right there. So, without further ado, let's let's get in. We'll, I went through the game on normal, got through the whole game, so I have a fair understanding of what's coming, etc, etc. Mostly because I wanted to see the story, what little there is. But today we're doing classic, because I can't beat classic. We'll Iron Man it up. Which means there's a single save, automatically updated so you can't go oh that was a terrible decision I will reload my previous save you can't do that and there's a load of second wave random stuff but we won't bother with that so classic accept an extraterrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. And now we get to pick our home nation. No, I don't find North America that useful aircraft stuff. Also, I'm not American. <laughs> I'm not European. I'm actually British. No, 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 no. Anyway. And I, I find the... Which one was the most useful? That one's fairly useful. That one... Can, looks laughable, but can actually be quite good. But let's go to Asia. Because I like this. This continent bonus. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance. So that's our next drop site. Okay, let's... Shut up, Central! God damn it. I'll probably be skipping quite a lot of the uh, cutscenes from now on. Simply because they can get quite annoying. Alright, so what we want to do is not move up quite that far just yet. Because these are all rookies. They're all quite a bit of crap. Yeah, that 
we can move them up to this device that kills people. But it's useful cover for our purpose. And since we haven't activated any aliens, I can stand in the open if I want to. It's not the smartest thing to do normally, but since... Well, you'll see what I mean when I say activate the aliens. Okay, so now we can move up to this harder cover. Do we activate? Nope. You can't reach that taxi. Oh, you can't even reach the- Oh my god. <laughs> this is terrible. Right, you also go behind that. Ah, we've activated them. They're now capable of firing on us in their turn. Whereas if they come across us in our turn and activate in their turn, they can't shoot at us, which is quite nice. And normally this would be like 25%, so that's actually pretty good. Pretty good. What you'll find with rookies is you'll focus on frag grenading quite a bit. Now do I want to move up there? Not particularly. Oh, this is... This is awkward. And I could use these fence... Waste... These waste high fences will come in very handy. Yeah, it's quite... Alright, well... Attempt it. Alright, we've got vision. 45%. Go! Oh! Nailed it! Normally that wouldn't happen. appear to self destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. And we'll overwatch this guy. Now, overwatch is a very nice feature of this game, and quite a few other games, I guess. You basically, if you can't see an enemy and you don't want to move up, you can just hit overwatch. And then when the enemy moves in their turn, there's a chance. Well, not a chance, if they move into line of sight, then your guys will shoot them with a small a small penalty that it's not going to tell me about. God damn it! So I'll just overwatch both of them. Because there are two aliens currently active who are probably in overwatch themselves, actually, thinking about it. So we'll move up very slowly in hopes of not getting in their overwatch sight. Right, so you go there. Can you... Oh, you can reach. Don't activate anything else, for God's sake. Alright, uh... Well, we need to move up. And there's no open... Open the car door! It's good cover. Uh, alright. Go there. And this is generally my playstyle of being very cautious. Because when I'm aggressive in classic difficulty, it never ends well. On my current personal save, I'm actually doing fairly well, actually, on my classic. I actually managed to get two kernels, but they're both both heavies, and I'll go into both of what those mean in a, after the mission, I think. Which I can go into it now if nothing happens. Um, basically, your squad can level up and go like sergeant. Yeah, there we go, overwatch. Sergeant, something else. And the, like, the highest level is colonel. And there are also four classes, heavy being one of those classes. And, oh my god! That's why I was moving up slowly, because that is a pain in the ass. I get the frag grenade, so. Oh, I can't reach! Oh, yeah. Right, what's the. Yeah, 25. Like I said, normally happens. She's probably dead, honestly. Next turn, she's. super dead. Uh. And we can't really move up safely, it's the annoying thing. We could probably move around these cars. Can you... I need to move you back, because you'll just get shot and killed next to... And we'll put you on overwatch as a sort of protection. So if we're going to use these cars... Because that does seem like the best idea, we should probably start moving the rest of the squad. Because splitting them up is never a good idea in my my experiences. Where can you... You're going to have to just wait there, I'm afraid. There's no available spots. Come out of hiding. Come out of hiding into my overwatch, you piece of crap. Oh, this is so annoying. And if I move up there, I'm going to get shot. Move over here. 
Back into. Oh, I'm so dumb at this game. Got to miss. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, we activated more aliens. Oh, that's not good. Can we frag grenade that car? I'm going to take the chance. It, the car is in the radius. Should explode the car and kill two aliens! It only set it on fire. Oh, poo. Alright, we need you there. Whoops, I don't want to fire. 45s. This is going to be a mission that doesn't go well. I was very unfortunate in the map that was picked. Right, we're just going to have to dash. There's nothing for it. You're going to have to overwatch. Those two are probably dead. She's definitely dead. Women never survive long on the first mission for me. I don't know why. I'm hoping that car will explode. Nope. Damn it. Oh, good. Yeah, you're doing that. If that car explodes, it'll take... Because when they do that, if you kill the one that's just done the mind meld, she's dead. The mind meld, then it'll kill the one it's melding with. And that miss, that's... Just very handy. She's dead. <laughs> Ah, oh, I called that. And that car's now on fire. Oh good, the car exploded. <laughs> and that actually killed three aliens. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. You see, I can't reach the flipping truck to take cover and then fire. I can only just take cover. Well, I suppose... You can get to there. Right. Then you can move over there next turn. Okay, that's. Oh. I always lose one person, it's always the woman. I don't know why. It's just what happens. Oh! Oh, Overwatch! No, I didn't get him. Rookies are never very good at Overwatch. He's now playing the truck. But I don't believe he Overwatch. Ugh! I don't believe the alien Overwatch. So oh, only twenty-five percent. That's not good odds. It might be best to just frag grenade him. Is that gonna hit? Ooh. It's the only thing, I never know. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna hit. Yeah, do it. Because it'll level him up, probably. If nothing else. Uh, Alright, dash to this car. And then our remaining trooper can just overwatch. God, oh, there's too many variables that can go wrong on this map. I don't like it. Too many cars. Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought I killed him then. That was unfortunate. Although now he's in the open. So he should be fairly easy to shoot, he's not in cover. Oh. I really don't want to move to there. Might activate more. Well, it's the first mission, there shouldn't be. There should only probably be six aliens. So, right, we'll take a chance. 73%, go. Miss. Yeah. You, 65%. But if we move over here and get closer. Those rookies are terrible aims. Still six. Fine. Ah, dead. Gone. Dead and gone. Good work out there, strike one. If I may, Commander. The labs are on high alert. T 
teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Alright, so that didn't go too badly. I've lost two guys on some of the starting missions before now. Yeah, skip that, who cares. Alright, so we got a heavy and a sniper. So they've gone from rookies to squaddies. That's the next level up. And I love heavies for this ability right here, the fire rocket. It's very useful. My snipers usually die, so I don't get to use them. Right? right, now we've come to the other section of the XCOM game, where you do lots of research and SHUT UP FOR GOD'S SAKE! There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh. Scenes everywhere, let's get rid of them all. Okay, there we go. And that should be all of them. So what you can do... Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> now the first thing you want to do is one of the two of these. Defense or offense. And I find in the early part of the game you need more offense. Now this will get you the scope upgrade, which will make you much more accurate. And frankly, if you're killing aliens with shots rather than grenades, you're going to get more out of it. We could buy a med kit, but... We could buy it. Oh, we don't have access to that yet. Oh, so there's not much to do. We can customise our guys if we want to. But I think that'll do, because... Well, we'll scan and we'll see if the next mission comes up. Which it probably will. Yep. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So now we can pick one of three missions because we can't deploy more than one guy for whatever reason. And I usually go for the one that gives engineers as as this as a reward because they make equipment cost less the more engineers you have. So we'll pick we'll go save France's ass. And now I, uh, so now we got our four guys, two of which are from the first mission, because one of the other ones was injured, I believe. Oh no, he got back up, so it's probably this guy. But yeah, so for this next mission, let's have a look at the missions called, shall we? So on the next Slimy Man videos, we will complete Operation Glass Hero. And I'll see you then. As soon as Central shuts up. Thank you. Goodbye.